Welcome to my YouTube channel. If I tell you that this trouser is a free hand cut, I brought out this trouser, would you believe? Follow me in this video. I'll teach you how to use a free hand in drafting a trouser and cutting a trouser as well. As you can see, it's fitted. Let's go to the class. Welcome. This is the fabric we'll be using in our tutorial today please if you are new to my channel please click on the subscribe button it is totally free it won't cost you anything okay it encourages me when i see new subscribers and it makes me want to produce more videos freely All right so please click on the subscribe button and drop your comments your comment will also help me do you have a design that is a big cloud in you and you're unable to draft it out just paste it there and i'll work on it and also bring it live on youtube for others to benefit then click on the notification bell if you have not done that reason is that when i drop a new video you'll be notified immediately all right and you might be the first to watch the video so please also invite your friends share this video with your friends so that they will benefit from um, this free tutorial that i'm offering here so please share with your friends in facebook and whatsapp all right let's go to our uh, uh, pant drafting all right a waist we're going to use is waist 34 and length 41 waist 34 and length 41 don't forget we said um i said i'll be using a free hand okay so these are the two measurements i'll use and so you can see you fold your fabric into two okay folding your fabric into two make sure after folding your fabric into two that the width of your fabric should be 30 depending on the waist of the person okay 30 and um, the length should be more than 45 or 45 exactly. So from the open side, you measure three and a half inch and you mark, measure three and a half inch and you mark. And then you, um, to get our crotch depth, our crotch depth is your waist, our waist is 34, okay? We divide 34 into four. That's divide 34 by four and you will get um, eight and a half eight and a half 34 by four you have eight and a half okay eight and a half and then you put eight and a half but we are not marking eight and a half okay um we we'll mark we we'll add one inch to the eight and a half to make it nine and a half reason is um because um male pant okay because of um there are public part right we have to increase it and then you slant your tape you slant your tape okay just the way you are seeing it on um, the screen you slant it and then close to one inch close to the crotch line okay you put a curve you curve it a bit to meet with the fabric open opening all right and so I'm sorry if my chalk is not uh, showing, but just follow me. You'll be glad you did. All right. So the next thing is the length. Okay. The length we are looking at is 41. Okay. Length 41. The length of our trouser is 41. And so what you need to do is to mark, draw your tape down to 41 and you mark 41 mark it increase it increase the width okay 41 and then after marking 41 the next thing you need to do is to consider an allowance we we'll add an allowance of two inch an allowance of two inch to it add allowance of two inch okay two inch and you also draw then after drawing um from the crotch depth okay from your crotch depth 
we're going to uh, uh, draw it with a curve a curve and a slant just watch the way i draw my curve and try and follow okay you can sketch it in on you on a piece of paper and you can send it to me here on facebook on the comment section i'll be glad to review your work okay don't forget at due casual uh, we teach okay how to sew clothes we teach how to um sew suits we teach you on how to sew a jean trouser teach you how to sew other may attires native attires how to tie wrapper how to sew native attires for wedding and all that so please stick to my youtube channel and you will learn a lot all right so the next thing is the ankle ankle will be considering seven and a half for our ankle seven and a half what you need to do is to measure seven and a half okay at the end of our sewing the person after sewing with half inch you arrive at the ankle the width all together you will get 14 okay we we'll arrive at 14 so you measure seven and a half okay and make sure you mark your seven and a half okay as seen on the screen mark seven and a half take it a bit and mark seven and a half okay so that the seven and a half will be equal with the one of the ankle there and at least six inch away from um the ankle itself should be equal all right then now you go to the waist region okay the waist make sure the waist we're considering um 34 the waist is 34 and so we we'll divide 34 by 4. divide 34 by 4 it will give us eight and a half eight and a half but we're not going to um just uh draw eight and a half we'll mark one and a half add one and a half to eight and a half okay that will be 10 inch and so you mark 10 inch and then you sketch with a curve let it be slant when it gets to the to the crotch region the slant comes down as you can see in the drawing my hand just follow if you are confused please uh, try and sketch this on a piece of paper and draw it in the comment section on youtube i'll be there i'll be there to respond and explain more all right please don't forget to invite your friends so the next thing to do is uh, to cut the line the line that you've drawn just use your scissors to cut it all right and now right now we've cut out the front piece you know it's too cut out the front piece okay what we did um this was how um the front piece was before we, we drafted and cut we use our um scissors to cut it you can see but now the um, um head of it head of your um of your front fabric okay of the front side of your trouser is turned the other way around okay and then you place it this way make sure this um, upper part is touching um, this part and what we need to do is after placing it we'll mark one inch one inch okay one inch there and one inch upward okay one inch upward and you slant please slant to meet with um, the side of uh, the front piece of the trouser and then also mark one inch but here you mark three inch please here at the crush depth of the uh, back piece of your trouser is three inch and you follow me you follow it with a slant okay slant curve you can see a slant curve there all right then um at the ankle at the ankle you measure um one and a half at the ankle you measure one and a half here at the middle you measure two inch Okay, you draw your two inch to meet with the three inch. Very important, very important. And then um, your ankle, like I said before, your ankle, the back piece of your trouser, the ankle is 
difference between the front and the back and um, ankle is you add one and a half okay to the back one and a half one and a half inch to the back all right and then you draw as you can see i'm drawing without the aid of a ruler okay and at the end your work will be perfect okay with the free hand it will be perfect it will be beautiful you'll be amazed by what you've done okay so you cut out the line okay like um you cut out this line do the, the um, extra piece there you cut it out you make sure you follow um the pattern of the front piece okay follow the pattern of the front piece okay as you can see you just use your scissors to to cut Make sure you use a sharp scissors, okay? For tutorial sake, I, that's why I'm using these scissors. Use a sharp scissors, all right? Please, is, if this video has been of a help to you, please drop your um, concern on the comment section. What you feel about this on the comment section, okay? That's the front piece and the other is the back piece. All right if this video has been of here please give it a thumbs up don't forget to share it with your friends please please if you have not subscribed how subscribe now subscribe it gives me joy when i see more subscribers and it tells me that yes um you need to impact more on the world please click on the subscription button share it with your friends bye bye